When selecting the right size braided line for your spinning reel, um, it is important to take into account three things. One is castability, how far do you need to cast? The other one is going to be structure. You're gonna be fishing around something sharp that could cut your line, fray your line. And the last thing is going to be the size of the fish, which really isn't that important with braided line. 15 pound braided line can bring in a 100 pound tarpon if you need. Uh, so let me show you what I do. I have four rods and reels here. These are what I use every day for any kind of fishing, whether it's 100 pound tarpon, tiny little trout, sheep's head, redfish, anything. You can catch anything with these four reels right here paired up properly. The first is, this is my inshore light tackle fun rod and reel, 2500 reel, 15 pound braided line. I pair up 15 because I found that 10 doesn't cast that much farther and it gives you no room for error. So if it nicks a barnacle that you don't know about and you hook your big fish, it's gonna break off. It's really hard to tie. 10 pound braided line does allow you to cast a little further and a little bit more accurate, but it's not that important. Also, 10 pound test, you, I don't think you're gonna be able to get your 60 pound tarpon in if it bites your bait. That is light line. 15 pound braid, just a little bit heavier, but it's so much stronger. So with these small reels here, 15 does just fine for me. This is what I use. Again, I don't throw a lot of really small artificials. I use a lot of bait or a slam shady, something with a little bit of meat that I can fling out there. Um, and also I can, it lasts a lot longer. I don't have to change this line out all the time. I can let my clients use it, friends use it. It's not gonna nick up as easy. So that's what I like to pair up with my light tackle. This is a 2,500 reel and I've got 15 pound braided line. Now let's talk a little bit, a little different here. If I need to cast very far and I'm live bait fishing, if I need to get my bait way out there, I'm not fishing around any kind of structure. I'm out on the open flat. So I'm at the beach, I wanna cast my bait way out to where the fish are and I'm not worried about, you know, wrapping around something and it's gonna break my line. I use a larger reel. This is a 4,000 spinning reel and I've got 15 pound braided line on there. This large diameter spool cuts back on friction and the 15 pound braided line, because it's so thin, it's gonna cut back on friction. And this is gonna allow me to launch this bait so far out there to the spookier fish or if I'm surf fishing. So this is a great combo here, a 4,000 size reel with 15 pound braided line. It's gonna get it out there. You can even jump up to 20 and not really see a difference. But a lot of people will get a reel this size and put 30 or 40 pound braided line on there. And you're not gonna be able to get it out there all that far. Just don't wanna fish this around structure. And so here's a cool little setup. I use this all of the time. This is a 3,500 spinning reel with 50 pound braided line. Now this cuts back on the cast because the line is so thick, you're not gonna be able to cast your bait out all that far to the fish, but it's gonna allow you to fish heavy structure and you're gonna have a fun time doing it because it's a smaller reel. You don't, you don't wanna have to use a big 6,000 spinning reel and wrenching in a little redfish. You wanna have fun bringing the redfish in and you can have all the fun you want, just put heavier line on. Make sure you don't tighten the drag too much because this reel is not made for really heavy braided line, but it'll work. So if I'm gonna be flipping mangroves, if I'm gonna be flipping docks for snook and, and fish around structure, this is the deal right here. Um, and this is, you can use anywhere between 30 and 50 pound test on a 3,500 reel. It works just fine. Just don't tighten the drag all the way down. You know, Keep it to where you'd have it if it was 20 pound test. And this will allow you to, the fish to swim around that dock and you can pull them right out. It catches a lot of fish. I love this setup. And lastly, inshore fishing right here. This is about as big as I'll ever go. You can catch those 100 pound tarpon if you see them, big snook around docks. I've got a 60 pound, 65 pound braided line on this. This is a 5,500 reel. Again, this reel's not made for that heavy of braid so I don't tighten the drag all the way down, but it's pretty tight, but it allows me to fish structure and it allows me to pull in bigger fish. And I, it has enough capacity to hold enough line to where if I do hook a big fish, it's gonna dump out. So I'm gonna back up real quick and just, you need to take into account when you're using heavy line on smaller reels, 
you can't use them for a fish that's going to burn down three or four hundred yards of line. So that's a benefit to braid. It allows you to put a lot more line on your spool. So this is when you're using heavy line on light uh, light reels. It's fishing structure for fish that you're just planning on pulling right out to the boat. You're going to be strong with them. You're going to pull them out. You're going to pull out the big snook. Um, it's not for hooking a 40 inch snook on the open flats 100 yards out from the boat. So that's why I have four different types of reels. I've got a bigger reel with heavier line. I've got my fun little structure reel. 18 inch redfish is still fun on this, but he's not gonna break off because I've got the heavier braid on there. So it's fun, it allows you to catch those sneaky fish. I've got my long cast right there. And then I've got my ultralight for fun. So guys, this is what I use day to day. I honestly really don't use any other setups than this on those pound tests. And it allows me to catch any kind of fish and have a great time doing it. So I hope it helps. Uh, tight lines and good luck catching those big fish. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club for inshore saltwater anglers, especially if you're going after redfish, sea trout, snook, or flounder. There's nothing else like it. We actually guarantee you'll be finding more fish every trip. You'll be saving money on all the tackle you need and you'll be meeting a ton of new fishing friends. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.